Today is a victorious day and we welcome you to the Holy Fire Youth and Ignite Fellowship. This is the church that welcomes you as you are. So, ako din si Jenny Grace Villasis and I will be your MC for tonight. So, before we proceed, let us all welcome ato mga first-timers and mga visitors nga nakatune in. So, hello po! We welcome you and we hope to see you soon next time. So, I know and I believe na kita tanan excited sa itong pag-abahalan ka ng pag-abi una. So, if excited mo, let us Click the heart and like reactions. I read the kanju day excited now. So, before we proceed to the worship, na ate padula, na ate pagkins, kabulong kita to ng ganahan ng games. So, the title of our game for tonight is Count on Me. So, the mechanics is the MC will throw specific questions and the viewers must answer and give at least one example of every given question. For example, how many days did God create the whole world? So, the answer is seven birds. The number 7 is the correct answer, and the birds is an example of God's creation. The viewers will be given 5 seconds to type their answers with examples in the comment section. After 5 seconds, the MC may also give at least one possible answer before proceeding to the next question. So, ready na ang tanan? So, if ready na mo, type Amen. So, ready. I believe ready na dito mo. So, let us start the game. Number 1. How many New Testament books are there in the Bible? 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. See it! The answer is 27, and the example is Thessalonians. So, number 2. Apo sa uban. So, number 2. How many love languages are there? 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. See it! The answer is 5, and the example is Acts of Service. So, number three is how many fruits of the Spirit are stated in Galatians chapter 6, 22 to 23? 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. See, the answer is number 9. And the example is love. So, number four. The question is how many parts of the armor of God are there stated in Ephesians 6? 10 to 18. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. CD. The answer is 6. And the example is Helmet of Salvation. And the last number is How many churches are stated in the book of Revelation? 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. CD. The answer is 7. And the example is Ephesus. So, Nalingaw po mo sa games karoon. Amen, no? So, thank you guys sa mga nag-participate. And I, and I hope nga nalingaw dyan mo sa tuhang pa-icebreaker karoon. So, karoon, let us prepare our hearts and our minds sa pong worship. And let us enjoy the rest of the night. So, thank you everyone. God bless. Good evening everyone. So, right now, let's sing with all our hearts. Our minds dira kay Lord. Amen? Amen. I do need another reason I just think about my Jesus I do need to have myself top I just think about your love, your love, your love Just think about your love, your love, your love Just think about your love And I, I, I do need another reason why I will lift, lift my voice and shout out your praises. You are the greatest. Whoa, whoa. And shout out your praises. You are the greatest. Whoa. And shout out your praises. You are the greatest. I'm not waiting for a feeling I just praise cause I believe it 
This is more than just emotion. It's the power of your love, your love, your love. The power of your love, your love, your love. It's power of your love. And I, I, I don't need another reason why I will lift, lift my voice and shout out your praises. You for the greatest. Whoa, whoa. And shout out your praises, you for the greatest, oh, oh, And shout out your praises, you for the greatest. You are, you are all it is. And you are more than enough So I will give you my praise I will, I will, I will And I, I, I don't need another reason why I will lift, lift my voice And shout out your praises, you for the greatest Oh, you are the greatest. You are, you are all that I want, and you are more than enough. So I will give you my praise. I will. I Yes, Lord God, we worship you, Lord God. Yes, Lord God. I may be weak. I may be weak. But your spirit strong in me. My flesh may fail. Oh my God, you never will. I may be weak. But your spirit strong in me, my flesh may fail. Oh my God, you never will. I need you. I need you to soften my heart, to break me apart. I need you to open my eyes, to see that you're shaping my life and all I am. I see. To trust what you say That you're good And your love is great I'm broken inside I give you my life I need you I need you Soften my heart to break me apart. I need you to pierce to the dark and cleanse every part of me and all I am, all I am. I Just what you say, and that you're good, 
and your love is great I'm broken inside I give you my life I may be weak but your spirit strong in me my flesh may fail Oh my God, you never will. I may be weak, but your spirit strong in me. My flesh may fail. Oh my God, you never will. Give me faith to trust what you say, and that you're good and your love is great. I'm broken inside, I give you my life, oh, give me faith, to just what you say, and that you're good, and your love is great, I'm broken inside, I give you my life oh, 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 Jesus I may be weak I may be weak But your spirit strong in me My flesh may fail My God, you never will I may be weak, but your spirit strong in me. My flesh may fail, oh my God, you never will. I may be weak, but your spirit strong in me. My flesh may fail, oh my God, you never will. I may be weak. But your spirit strong in me, and my flesh may fail. Oh my God, you never will. <laughs>
uh, better signal, Lord God, na dili magka lag lag ang mo ang mga signal Lord God and I pray Lord God na maka dugog jud mi tarong Lord God sa word tonight Lord God Lord continue to fill this place with your love Lord God continue Lord God to open every hearts Lord God open every ears Lord God thank you for everything Lord we give you praise we give you honor Lord God you alone deserve it oh God in Jesus name amen and amen ayan so i believe na excited ta no because new month new series so i believe na daghan kay tag nakuha or na bless you tano last month no sa July for a uh, series nato na Good News of Grace. So right now nato sa to a new series entitled Building a Great Life. So di ba amazing from the title itself, amazing na kaayo. I believe na dagan ju kitag matun-an ani no pang kinabuhi ju ni because great life. So kasi gusto ani Kisa excited. Amen? So, kisa excited dira, no? Let's give heart like reaction dira sa to ang mga reaction button. No? I-comment na to na ready ta. Pagkita na to kay Lord na ready o andam ta. Mamino siya ang word. So, right now, before ko magsugod sa title sa kuan topic, I will share this verse to you in Matthew 9, verse 29. Nakabutang dari, according to your will, according to your faith, it will be done to you. Okay? Balik ko na ko. According to your faith, it will be done to you. So, if you have more faith, more will be done into your life. If you have a little faith, then little will be done into your life. If you have no faith, then wala po'y mahitabu sa iyo mong kinabuhi. So, if you have faith, it will be done to you. Okay? So, nata sa series na Building a Great Life. So, the topic sa ato ang title karon, ang title sa ato ang topic karon is Building a Life of faith. Balik ko na ko, building a life of faith. No? Pwede ba na to? Iingon sa itong sarili ka nun, no? Sabayan ko ninyo na building a life of faith. Amen. Thank you. So, nakabutan nila sa Jude 1 verse 20. Build your lives on the foundation of your holy faith. Ayan. So, mag-focus ta our main verse that is Hebrews 11 verse 6. So, kanina siya na topic, mag-ikot na ni siya sa Hebrews chapter 11. Because dira sa Hebrews chapter 11, dira gipamutang ang mga men and women of God na grabe ang faith dira kay Lord. So, no? Sa mga nakabasa na o Hebrews 11, diba amazing kaayo? Dahan kayong mga nakabutang dira itong mga men and women na grabe ang faith nila kay Lord. So, mo na ito ang main verse karon no? In Hebrews 11.6 Kabutan dali, Without faith, it is impossible to please God because anyone who comes to Him must believe He exists and that He rewards those who earnestly seek Him. So what pleases God? By trusting Him. Faith. Only faith can please God. Amen? If wala kay faith, this is a time for you, no? The time for you na magkaroon na ta dapat of faith dira kay Lord. Because mo na ang makaplease kay Lord. So, atin doon, so, usa din ang faith. So, sige ka, ingong faith, ganiha pa lang sa pinakasugod pa lang, faith na yung mga ginaingon. So, atin doon, so, usa din ang faith. Mabang na ito, English sa tiil, na dili to siya. So, faith to siya, no? Faith to siya. <laughs> so, mga nakatawa, plus 10 sa langit. So, ayan. So, faith is, according to my kuya Google, no? Faith is a complete trust or confidence in someone or something. Faith means belief, firm persuasion, assurance, firm conviction, faithfulness. Faith is a confidence in what we hope for and the assurance that the Lord is working even though we cannot see it. Faith knows that no matter what the situation in our lives or someone else, the Lord is working in it. So, daghan kaayo og meaning ang faith. Basin isearch pa ninyo na sa Google or whatever asa mo makasearch, daghan kayong meaning ang faith. Because, faith is like a multifaceted diamond. Kita na mo anong diamond, di ba? Di ba, grabe ang diamond. Daghan kayo siya o face. Daghan kayo siya o kanang sides. Daghan siya aspect. So, yung ana ang faith. Faith is like a multifaceted diamond. Daghan siya areas. Daghan siya faces. Daghan siya o uh, aspect. So, right now, no, God will tell us the six areas or six aspects of faith na kailangan na to i-develop sa ito ang life in order for us to build a great life. So, I encourage everyone na mag-take down note ta because a uh, very important jud kayo ni na na topic okay i apply jud nato ni sa tong kinabuhi because this is reality no kailangan jud nato na naatay faith kay Lord amen so first point for this night is faith is believing when i don't see it 
In Hebrews 11 verse 1, Now faith is being sure of what we hope for and certain of what we do not see. Amen? Faith is ang pagtuo, miskang wala pa ni mo nakita. Amen? Because dari sa kalibutan ang ginaingon nila is, to see is to believe. If nakita na ni mo, dira pa ka mutuo. But in God, it's different. Believe and you will see. Kailangan ni mo mutuo bago mahitabo. Amen? Because you have to believe it before it happens. Amen? And everything na ato ang na-achieve karo sa ato ang kinabuhi. Diba, once in our life, ato ang na siyang gituuhan. No? Example, dito o tanong makagraduate ng senior high. And then, awa asan nakakaroon. Diba, ni-graduate na kang senior high, padulong na ka-college life. So, congratulations. Amen? Diba, sa una, nito o ta, nag-believe lang ta na maka-preach ta sa word ni Lord, mag-worship lead ta, no? Uh, mag-serve ta sa ministry, no? Nag-believe lang ta na ma- ma-complete na to ang one year na pag-devotional, diba? Patan awa ka ron, nag-ahitabo na sa to ang life. Why? Because you believe it. Munang mahitabo na siya. Amen? So, that is faith. Faith is believing, miss kang wala pa ni mo nakita. Amen? Second point is, faith is obeying when I don't understand it. Okay? Best example of this point is ang life ni Noah. Amen? Nakaputang pa din sa Hebrews 11 verse 7, It was by faith that Noah built an ark to save his family from the flood. He obeyed God, who warned him about something that had never happened before. Amen? Di ba kitantanan familiar ta sa life ni Noah? No, kabalot na siya ang nagbuhat sa arka. Amen? That time, wala kasabot si Noah sa ginaingon ni Lord. Na, di ba? Nakabutan din, never happened before. Kanang pag-ulan, kanang pag-flood, wala pa na nahitabo sa iyahang kinabuhi. Sa iyahang, sa iyahang pag-live sa kalibutan, wala siya kabalot sa ulan. Wala siya kabalot sa flood. So, to pag-ingon ni Lord na na ay ulan, na ay flood, na muabot, mauna pagbuhat o arka para masave mo family. Amen? So, na-shock siya, na-shock siya. Ha? Nga na mabuhat na kong arka, ha? O sa nang ulan? O sa nang flood? Na, ha? O sa day na? O na kong baluan na? Diba, sometimes at ang life, no? Na ginaingon si Lord na wala takasabot. But still, Noah obeyed God. And that was so amazing because that is faith. No? Faith is obeying when I don't understand it. Amen? Another example is ang life ni Abraham. Gina siya ni Lord na hawa sa mong country, anwa sa mong comfort zone. And wala, kabalo, wala siya kabalo kung asa siya padulong. Wala siya, wala, siya, wala siya gitagaan ug mapa ni Lord kung asa siya padulong. But still, he obeyed God. Amen? So ba? amazing kayo. Yung anara po na sa ang life. No? Na, na kanong, na ginaingon si Lord na kani buhatan eh. Kani sundan eh. Kani humuan eh. Nya, wala ta kabalo unsa, ha? Wala ko kasabot sa ginaingon ni Lord. Pero, we still obey Him. Why? Because we trust in Him. We have faith in Him. No? So, congratulations if you obey ni mo si Lord. Miss kang wala ka kasabot sa iyang ginapabuhat sa iyo, ha? So, that is faith. Obeying when I don't understand it. Okay? Next is, faith is giving when I don't have it. Kani, giving. No? Ang uban sa ato, ano, mapalingog-lingog pag abot na sa giving. Ayan, so... Guilty po ko, Ana. So, mamino ta. Para dili ta maging guilty na sa nag. Ayan. So, faith is giving when I don't have it. In Hebrews 11 verse 4, It was by faith that made Abel's offering to God a better sacrifice than Cain's. Through his faith, God approved of his giving. Amen? It was by faith na ang offering ni Abel is gitanggap ni Lord. No? Mas better ang iyahang, iyahang gihatag kaysa kay Cain. Why? Because si Lord, if maghatag ta, wala siya nagaluk sa usa tong ginahatag. Kung usa pa na siya kamahalon, usa na siya kadaghan, but nagaluk siya sa tong heart. Okay? Nagaluk siya sa motibo na to, motive na to, sa to ang paghatag. Amen? Because faith and giving always go together. No? Di dyan na sila magkahiwalay. Okay? And also, God uses finances to test our faith. Kasi makarelate. Amen, di ba? If naatay ka ng madawatan na kwarta, no? Kanang if sweldo time na nato, so mga na, naka-work, di ba? No? Di ba? If makadawat ka kwarta, o sa'yo mong ginauna? Ang pag-isip sa magbayad ka o bills? Ah, kailangan ako magbayad o wifi para maka-wifi pa ako. Kailangan ako magbayad o suga, tubig, ana, and all. Or yung mong ginauna is ang pag-tights and offering. Di ba? Amen. No? 
God will use sometimes no, our finances to test our faith. Okay? And there are two ways to give. No? Secreto ni siya, but I will tell you this. You can give by faith, and you can give by fear. Kung saan you can give by faith? No? Makahatag ka by faith because na ay revelation gigan kay Lord. Example, magtanaw kasi mong pita ka. Kanabi tong feeling na walang wala na ka, tapos giingnan ka ni Lord na ihatag na tanan. Diba? Kasi naka-try ana, no? Pineto mag-comment na, naka-try ko ana doon. No, magtanaw kasi mong pita ka na masahi na lang mano nabilin, tapos ipahatag pa dyan ni Lord. But still, you obey because you have faith in Him. No, na suklian niya kung unsa yung mga gihatag. Diba? That is giving by faith. No, by revelation. Nag-convictionan ka ni Lord. Miss kang wala, wala na ka. But still, gaghatag ka. Naapoy, isa ka way na giving by fear. Okay? Kani, kung magtaro kasi yung pitaka, ala, 500 na sulod sa akong pitaka. Napakoy pang milk tea later. Napakoy pang fries and burger later. Napakoy pa yung chicken cordon blue. <laughs> diba? Napakoy pang escabeche on niya. O saan na lang ako kaunong later? Wala na ako yung pang asal ni. Uy, maghatag pa ugtay sa offering. Pwede ka rin 10 pesos na sa akong ihatag, Lord. So, diba? Yung ana ang giving by fear. Na ano, mahadlok ka, na mahutlan ka. Okay, wala, 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 wala naman ka. So, that is giving by fear. And I hope na delete yung ana. Okay? Let's give by faith. Okay? Naka-experience ko dati, isa ka-conference. Grabe kayo to siya. Uh, kanang, di conviction ang ko ni Lord na ang um, sulod sa akong pitaka, dapat daw ihatag na ako. Ha, na good. Kanang, ano sulod na, ihatag ta na ng kwarta sa akong pitaka. And nagtanaw ko sa akong pitaka, pamasahin na lang, Jude. Hindi na ko pa uli, Jude, buhangin ba? Pag ihatag pa, good ako to. But, I believe in God. I trust in Him. So, ihatag na ako tanan. And, amazing ka, ayaw kay. Nakauli, mga pagko ato. No, nakauli pa ko. Thank you kaayo sa mga naghatod sa ako ano, sa una, sa actual. <laughs> Naka nang ihatod ko door to door. So, kato nakauli po ko. And gabi po ang blessings na ni Apaw ato. Once na gibuhat na ko to, gi-obey na ko sa Lord. Nambasing walang wala na ko, still gihatag na ko to kay Lord. And that is faith. Faith is giving when I don't have it. Okay? Next is, faith is persisting when I don't feel like it. Dari. Kaya lang hanta maigot dari. Kaya pati ako saan igot ko ane. Okay, maminaw ta. Okay, faith is persisting when I don't like it. Because in our culture, no, gilaingon nila na buhata ang tanan ni mo gusto. Na feel ni mo okay lang sa imo. Okay? Do everything based on your feelings. Do everything based on your emotions. Kung ganahan ka, kung malipay ka, buhata. Kung dili ka ganahan, ayaw, ayaw, buhata. No? Do whatever feels good in your life. Amen ba? But I tell you that matured people live by their commitments and not their emotions. Okay? Kay sometimes, no, sa to ang pag-live dari sa kalibutan, lagay kayo mga problema, maabot ang mga problema sa itong life. No, makaingon ta na kapuyan na, uy, hindi na akong mag-surf, uy, hindi na akong mag-pray, hindi na akong mag-devotional, uy, naman dyan po problema. Naman dyan po mga challenges sa life, nga naman mag-pray pa man ko. Nga ano, mag-devotional pa man ko. Nga ano, mag-serve man ko kay Lord. Nga wala may blessings ni Abos akong kinabuhi. Diba? Diba, it's hard na mag-pray if dili easy ang life. Okay? But I tell you, miskan kapoy na kaayo. No? Miskang, miskang, di kapoy na ka. Continue to pray. Continue to trust in God. No? Be persistent. Okay? Keep doing the right thing even dili ni mo feel. Diba? Sometimes, example ha, dili na to feel maging butan sa tao. Why? Kaya tao lang mong punta, masuko ta, mahing maldita ta ako, maldita dito kayo ko. And sometimes, sa kong life, dito ko ganahan maging butan. Okay? Kaya, kung nagani, yung ani, yung ani, tapos butan-butan pa ka, yung maldita po ko, uy, ano, good. So, but, be persistent. No? Miss ka, dili ni mo feel na maging butan, praktisa lang na maging butan ka. Okay? Okay, that is the right thing to do. Okay? Another example, ang pag-prayer. Di ba? Kani, relate ang tanan. Na mabuti sa sa point na di na to feel mag-pray. But I tell you, if feel ni, if naakasa yung anak na situation na dili ni mo feel mag-pray, that is the uh, pinaka guapo na situation na dapat mag-pray ka. Okay? And, kani, kani, 
Hanang dili ni mo feel mag devotional kani kasi yung kahit ane no hands up tayo diyan thumbs up uh, thumbs up thumbs up tayo diyan react react tayo if makarelate tayo na dili taganahan mag devotional but i tell you if dili ni mo feel no devotional pag devotional okay ayo jud skip ang isa ka day na dili ka mag devotional okay na delikado jud delicate jud ka ayo na siya so devota kani pa study ang pag study kita mga estudyante no dili kasi mabutas sa point na dili na to feel mag study but i tell you keep on studying because that is the right thing to do no mo pa gusto ni lord na buhaton nimo mo na mature people live by their commitments not by their emotions because kidi sa kalibutan ka po yung juta okay but padayon lang be persistent endure Okay? Napagid dahil sa Hebrews 11.27 It was by faith that Moses left Egypt and was not afraid of the king's anger. He held to his purpose like a man who could see the invincible. Okay? Why? Nga nung nag naging persistent si Moses? He held on his purpose. And what is his purpose? To please God. Okay? He fixed his eyes on Jesus. Mona, if you look into your problems, you will be stressed. Okay, mas stress lang ka. But if you look on Jesus, you will be at rest. So, mo nang focus your eyes on Jesus para maging persistent ka sa mga kinabuhi. Okay? Ayaw, look sa mga mga problema. Okay? So, padayon lang ta. Be persistent because persistence is the key to success. Tanawa ng mga tao ng mga successful. Dili, tanan sila lang kinabuhi. Dili, sa tanan ginabuhat nila sila kinabuhi, ganahan sila. But still, they do it. Why? Because they persistent. No? Nag-injure nag sila. Muna naging successful sila. Dili sa yun ang maging successful. Muna naging successful sila. Kay, they have this. No? They, they have this point na persisting. Okay? Basta hindi nila feel. So that is faith. Faith is persisting when I don't feel like it. So padayon lang. Miss Kanan, wala na kaganahin. Okay? So, next point is, faith is thanking God before I receive it. No? In Hebrews 11.30, By faith, the walls of Jericho fell after the people had marched around them for seven days. So, I believe, no? Familiar taani na story sa Bible, ang Jericho wall. No? The Israelites, no? March around the Jericho wall. Ilahanggi, marchahan. Tapos, in the seventh day, they marched seven times. And they gave a loud shout of praise. Uh, they keep on praising God, they keep on thanking God. And I hope in Anna Satano, and that is faith. Faith is thanking God before I receive anything from Him. Okay? Because if you wait God to answer your prayer before you thank Him, that is gratitude. Why? Naan na may naabot sa imuha. Like for example, taga antika gift karon. Kasi mo ang iingon, di ba? Thank you. Lain sa kaayo, no thanks, di ba? So taga antika karon o jolly bee. Diba? May ngayon siya ka-thank you doon. Sa, sa, sa uulitin. Diba? So, mag-thank you ka. Pag na naman kayo nadawatan. And that is gratitude. No? But, faith is different. Because faith is thanking God in advance. Miss kang wala pa ni mo nadawatan, nagkapasalamat na ka. Kani, tip ni siya. Isa ni siya kasekreto sa kong life. And I I will tell you this secret sa kong kinabuhi. So, dagan na kayo na ingon sa inyo na secret, no? So, isa sa sekreto sa kong mga life, every time magpa-enroll ko, katong college life na ko, until now, college man Japan ko, no, every time mag-enroll ko sa UM, pag mahatag na sa akua ang kanang uh, subjects na ko, akong ginabuhat yun, Anna, is, for example, man, eh, Lord, kani Lord, ah, uh, Mapasar niya akong ACC411, mapasar niya akong ACP221, mapasar niya na subject lord. I believe na mapasar dyan ako niya na subject lord, hindi ko maglisod ani. Diba? Ang e, ana ang ako ang sekreto. Nagapasalamat na ko daan kay lord. Miss kang wala pa ko napasar ato na subject. So, muna, muna ang nakapasurvive sa, sa ako as akong college life. No? I'm still in fourth year. Fourth year na ko karon no and mo ja po na akong ginabuhat karang lately lang nag-enroll ko mga katong Sunday ah dili Saturday yata ako nag-enroll oh uh, nag-enroll ko Saturday and glory to God non siya nag provide sa, sa tuition and kato di ma akong subject karon na term and di prehan jud nako siya na Lord wala man ko kabalo sa makita bu karon na sem but I I believe na mapasay ko ani na subject so yung ana akong sekreto guys ginagapasalamat ko daan kay Lord no 
because muna akong favorite na verse dyan, in Mark 11.24 when you pray and ask for something believe that you have received it and you will be given what you ask for so if na ako'y gina-pray na ako'y gina-ask kay Lord tiwala lang na maimuha na muna every time mag-pray ko na Lord pasar na ako na subject pasar dyan ni, pasar dyan ni, pasar dyan ni wala na ako nag-doubt no, wala na ako nag-duha-duha, wala na ako nag-tulo-tulo no? but I believe in God okay so, yung ana na na ang sekreto. So, just believe and just have trust in Him. And pasalamati daan ang ginoo. Is kang wala pa ni mo nakuha ang imuha para sa imuha. So, glory to God, wala man ko nag-ipakyas. Until now, wala dyan ko naka-experience o bagsa. Kung unta, dili na ako na ma-experience ako ang 4-year life karon, no? So, tabangi po ko ninyo gampo na mapasar ko sa ako ang life ko. Sa ako ang last year. Sa ako ang Akad's life. So, ayun. Yung ana na ang sekreto. Be thankful. Is nga wala pa ni mo na na dawatan. Okay? So, next is faith is trusting God even I don't get it. Balik ko na ko. Faith is trusting God even if I don't get it. Same, same man siya ato gani ha. Is nga wala pa ni mo na receive. Ba't ka to naging thankful ka? Ba't ka ni continue to trust? Okay? Trusting Him bisa nga wala pa ni mo na dawatan ang naaka. Ang imuhang ipangayo. Okay? Because there are two facts about God. I will tell you this. First, God hears and answers every single prayer. Second, God doesn't always answer the way you want them to answer. Why? Because God is not a vending machine. Dili tanan gusto ni mo, or imo ang ginapray kay Lord, no? Ato ang ginapray kay Lord, mojo na itong madawatan. Why? Because dili siya vending machine eh. Dili siya genie. Na pamingong ka, Lord, taga ikaw yung ani, Lord, iPhone 1, iPhone 2, taga ikaw ani, Lord, taga ikaw ani, anak. Dili na ihatag ni Lord. Why? No? Okay. God's answer sometimes are yes. No. Not yet. And I have a better idea. Okay? So if answer, ang answer ni, if ang answer ni Lord sa mga prayer karon is yes, then celebrate. If no, then celebrate. If not yet, then celebrate. If He has a better plan for you, then celebrate. Okay? Whatever ang answer ni Lord sa imuhang prayer, celebrate. Okay? Because God knows what's best for all of us. Okay? So, if na ako'y gina-pray ka ron, no, nag-pray ka for your lifetime partner, nung wala pa nahatag ni Lord, pila nakaka-yearsig ang po para sa iya, ha? Pero wala pa nahatag ni Lord, no, makaingon ka, Lord, asa naman itong the right one, Lord, wala pa man Japon, pila naman ni ka-years, five years, naman ako nag-iampuan, wala man Japon ni mo siya, gitouch iyang heart. So, <laughs> ayaw ko bala ka. Mas hindi ang answer ni Lord is yes, pero wala pa man, so, did it yes, but if no, no, o sa imuhang iingon ang nan, kung no, then he has a better idea. If not yet, then dili pa karon ang right time. So, tiwala lang. No, kung usa man yung ginapray karon kung tao mana or bagay mana or promotion mana or whatever business ba, kung usa man ginaampo karon if wala pa hatag ni Lord, continue to trust in Him because ihatag na niya sa yahang right time. Okay? So, ayaw pagdali. Kaya masakitan na ka kung magdali-dali ka. No? So, ang uban beses ato, if ang answer ni Lord kay no, Manluod din ta kay Lord, mulay din ta kay Lord. Hindi na ako mag-serve kay Lord. Uy, wa man naghatag ang right girl para sa ako. Ah. Wala man naghatag ang right boy para sa ako. Ah. Hay nako, di ba? Nga na ta. Nga na ta usahay. So, di lang ako, di lang kamo ang guilty ako sad. So, guilty tang tanan. So, mo na ta karon kay para ma- makamata tang tanan. So, yung anak lang na. No, if dili pa uh, wala pa ni mo nadawatan ang answer sa mo prayer karon. God has a better plans for you. Because God knows what's best for you. Okay, in Hebrews 11, 39, verse 14, nakabutan na rin, the world was not worthy of them. They were all commended for their faith, yet none of them received what had been promised. God had planned something better. Kani mga tao sa Hebrews 11, kani mga men, women of faith, dili tanan prayer nila na answer. Why? Because na ay something na better nagiplan sa Lord sa ilaha. No, wala sila nang duod kay Lord, but they continue to trust the rock kay Lord. Okay? So, whatever na itong ginapray ka ron, padayo na taog, trust kay Lord. Now, yung answer na niya. Okay? So, recap ta. Faith, sa itong first point, faith is believing when I don't see it. Second, faith is, uh, faith is, faith is obeying when I don't understand it. Third is, faith is giving when I don't have it. Fourth is, 
Faith is persisting when I don't feel like it. And fifth, if faith is thanking God before I receive it. And last is faith is trusting even I don't get it. So now, how does God build our faith? There are two ways na i-build ni Lord ato ang faith. First is, He build our faith through His Word. Through reading His Word. In Romans 10, 17, faith comes from hearing and hearing by the Word of God. So, dili ma-build imo faith if wala ka nagabasa o Bible. That's why it is very important for all of us to read our Bible every day, to do our devotionals, to hear the Word of God every day. Kaya dira ma-build itong faith. Wala ka nagabasa Bible, wala yung faith na may tabusin mong kinabuhi. Wala, dili ka maka, magkaroon o faith if wala ka nagabasa o Bible. Mao nang basa ta o Bible. Second, he build our faith through trials and tests. So, I believe kitang tanan nato ginaagian karoon ng mga problema. Nato ginaagian ng mga challenges, tests, trials. But, I tell you, isa na sa way para i-build ni Lord of Faith. Nakabutang pa dali sa 1 Peter 1.7, These trials are only to test your faith. Okay? Ginatest ng tanin Lord. Munang, if naka ginaagian karoon, continue lang, padayon lang. Okay? I tell you, di lang ikaw ang nakaranas o problema. Kitang tanan na ay problema. Siguro, pa daghan ito problema, mas daghan siguro o problema. No? No, but, kitang tanan na ito problema. Okay? Sumuon ng padayon lang ta. Okay? Okay. Dira ta ginabuild ni Lord. Because, kana, faith, ay kanang problems is part of our life na. Okay? Um, I believe na some of us here watching, no? Tuning in na nakasapoint sa mga life na gusto na ka mo give up because of some problems some challenges in your life you want to give up on your dreams you want to give up on your goals because of this pandemic na di na may tabo ang goals akong life eh kikapi, di ko kagawas gani diba? wala pa ko na vaccine wala pa ko na yung ani no, negative ra kayo ta and sometimes uban sa ato ah some of us want to give up on their career want to give up on their their education no? Ang ba sa tua kay kagib ako na na di na nari ko maka-college eh. Wala man, wala may wala may email gikan sa scholarship. Wala may pang tuition. Wala, wala, wala man eh. Kami ano mo give up eh. No? I believe na sa atua na ing ana ang na-feel. Okay? No, you want to give up your family. Kaya wala yung salvation mahitabas yung family. Kaya mga makasalanan kaayo. Kung did you madala? Is ka unsaan? No? Some of us na give up na sa inyong finances. Because wala yung nagasulod na kwarta. Always na pagawas, gawas, gawas. Wala yung sunod. Okay? Wala na dyan. Walang wala. Diba? And you want to give up because your future is hopeless. No? Feeling mo yung future hopeless naman eh. Wala naman yun eh. No? I believe na feeling mo na karan. Na feel na to na karan. No? I believe na ito mga problema na ginagayaan karan. But God wants to tell us tonight hang on there, no? Take courage. Don't give up. Okay? Hold on. No? Pa sa kanta na Hold on, hold on, don't let go. Men, hold on, don't let go. And stay true to your commitments. Is kang kapoy na, is kang wala na kay energy, but still, keep on serving God. Okay? Keep on pursuing your dreams. Okay? Because I believe, kitang tanan na dito ay ginagian. But I believe, breakthrough will come in our lives. Okay? No? Financial breakthrough, mga promotion, pang tuition na to, no? Wala, takabalo asa pa on ang 17K na pang tuition karo na sem, but I believe na i-provide na ilo. Okay? Okay? So keep on believing when you don't see it. Keep obeying when you don't understand it. Keep giving when you don't have it. Keep persisting when you don't like it. And keep thanking God before you receive it. Keep trusting God even if you don't get it. And that is faith. Keep on believing. Keep on obeying. No? Keep on, keep on giving, persisting, thinking, and trusting. Okay? Even when I don't feel it, even when I don't see it, God is working. So, if you have a problems right now, na feeling mo wala na galiho sa Lord, no? God seems so wala. But I tell you, God 
is working. Okay? God is working. And just believe in that sentence that God is working. Okay? Even if I don't feel it, even if I don't see it, God is working. No? Have faith lang ta. Ano pa ganit sila na? Ka faith lang kapatid. Ka faith lang ta. Pwede mo na ito i-comment. Naka-faith lang tayo mga kapatid because I believe na lagi na agi ang tanan. Ana, pwede na to encourage ang tanan na ka-faith lang. Ka-faith lang isuon. Karon tuition, karon ihatag na ni Lord sa imong ha. Ug maka-college ka. Maka-school ka. Just keep on believing. Okay? So I believe daghan tang na learn. Ako sad habang nag-preach ko naka-learn gud ko. Ni na talk sad ko ni Lord. So ayan, so let's pray. Hallelujah. Our Father in heaven, precious Holy Spirit, Lord God, Lord, thank you for this night. Thank you for your word, for your wonderful word, your powerful word, Lord God. I pray, Lord God, that whatever we learn tonight, Lord God, we apply to our kinabuhi, Lord God, that we change our kinabuhi, Lord God, we change our perspective, Lord God, when we come to faith, Lord God. I pray, Lord, you, uh, Lord God, will be able to give wisdom and knowledge, Lord God, to our own, Lord God na magpapadayon, Lord God, sa mga kinabuhi, Lord God. Miskan ang kalibutan, Lord God. Wala na may kabalo sa inahit na mo, Lord. And Lord, I pray also, Lord, sa tanan, mga naglisod ka, Lord God, I pray for financial breakthrough, Lord God, in Jesus' name. I pray, Lord God, for provision and favor, Lord God, sa tanan, mga estudyante, Lord God, na wala pang tuition ka, Lord God, Lord God. I pray, Lord God, ikaw, Lord God, ang mag-release, Lord God, o provision, Lord God, in Jesus' name, Lord God. I pray, Lord God, na maka-college ang tanan, Lord God, maka-spela ang tanan, Lord God. And I pray, Lord God, na Lord, ma-accept sila sa mga school na ilang i-applyan, Lord God, ma-accept sila sa mga scholarship na ma-applyan, Lord God, in Jesus' name, Lord God. We have faith in you, we believe in you, we trust in you, Lord God, that Ikaw ang mag-provide, Lord God. Hallelujah, Lord God, that you have a better future in every one of us, Lord God. Lord, we believe in you, we have faith in you, Lord God. Lord, thank you, thank you so much, Lord God, for reminding us tonight, Lord God, what faith is, Lord God, and how to build our life, Lord God, of faith, Lord God, and how to have a great life, Lord God, by just have faith in you and just keep trusting in you, Lord God. Hallelujah, Lord God. We know, we believe, that even we don't feel, even we don't see it, Lord God, you are working in our lives, Lord God. Thank you so much, Holy Spirit. Thank you, God, for everything, Lord God. Whatever we achieve tonight, yours be the glory alone, Lord God. Walay amua, walay akuaari, Lord God. Imuha ang tanan, Lord God. Lord, bless every one of us, Lord God. Um, continue to pour out, Lord God, your blessings, Lord God, and continue, Lord God, to pour out, Lord God, your protection in every one of us, Lord God. Thank you so much for everything, Lord God. Hallelujah, Lord God. We give you praise. We give you honor, Lord God. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Ayan. So, our life group question for tonight. Now, first, is there a time in your life that your faith is being tested? Share some experiences to your life group. Second, what have you learned after hearing the word of God? And third, what aspect of faith do you need to develop in your life from the six areas of faith na ito ang gitakel gamin ha? So, I hope na naghan mong na-learn, naghan mong nakuha, or ato ito i-apply sa ito ang kinabuhi para na i-change life na mahita mo sa ito ang kinabuhi. And I pray na mag-enjoy mo sa inyong life group, no? Let's share everything na pwede na ito ma-share. So, that's all. And good night, everyone, and have a blessed night, and enjoy your life group. Thank you, and God bless. See you next week. We are encouraging everyone to join our life group discussion. Please contact Vince Goetia for you to be assigned to a designated life group leader. We would like to invite you this Sunday on our online Sunday celebration every 9 a.m. Thank you so much for tuning in to our Holy Fire Youth Service. See you again next week. God bless.